Previously on Minecraft Story Mode. Heroes can come from unlikely beginnings. And broken friendships can lead to dark rivalry. When the world is in danger, fate calls on the ordinary to do extraordinary deeds. And go on journeys they had only dreamed of. Our heroes, thrown together by fate, must now seek help from a legendary artisan of chaos. But the question remains, will it be enough to save the world? Jesse, you're not even having a little fun? I mean, I am! I mean, sure the world's in danger, but this is our chance to be heroes. Breathe in the sulfur! Enjoy yourself! We're in the nether! Watch out for monsters, okay? Ah, uh, you're always looking for the negative in things. If we don't get the order back together, the wither storm is going to eat everything! That means we need to get to Magnus as soon as freaking possible. You know what? You're right. We're gonna find Magnus, bring him back, and he'll totally know how to blow that thing sky high. Uh, dude! Hate us so much. The minecarts. <laughs> Hurry! Use something on that gas. Okay. Think fast, Jesse. What to choose? Just um, uh, don't miss. Okay. I don't want it to hate us even more. perfect warm-up for when we get to Boomtown. Boomtown? Yeah! Boomtown! This is it. I liked it when you went first last time. Maybe you should take this one again. Chaos, man. Wow, 
Wow, a cactus. You don't see these back home. I take it as a souvenir, but I don't want to stick it in my pants. Good call, buddy. Do all these belong to different griefers? The graphic design for some of these is questionable at best. Yeesh. Well, here you have it, Jesse. Boomtown in all its glory. What do you think? It's like I've finally come home. These are my people. And listen to that. They speak my language. We need to keep moving. They probably saw us come in here. Yeah, Boomtown's not exactly made for loitering. Your loot is mine, brigand! <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to catch me first, Anvilfoot. Whoa. Um, I hope they're okay. And if they're not... At least they died doing what they loved. Wow. This explosion looks really fresh. Smells fresh, too. How does anyone live here? Are they nuts? They're adventurous, Jesse. It's awesome. Dude, it's freaking glowing! Dude, I think you're on to something there. It did this before, remember? At the temple. Yeah. And look! It glows brighter when I move in certain directions. Easy does it. Easy? Maybe to the left. No, the right. I mean your left. Right. I mean, you're right. About left. Axel, you're stressing me out with that. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> ding, ding, ding! Looks like that spire is where we'll find Magnus. Hey there, new people. You, uh, you said you know where Magnus is? All the griefers here in Boomtown want to find Magnus, you know. Whoa, how long have you been there? Why do you want to know so badly? Oh, no reason. What's going on? Nor found some noobs with a thingy that can find Magnus. Jesse? <laughs> Bunch of scavengers. This drop is mine. Everyone just back off, all right? We need this to find Magnus, and it- Hey, we all want to find Magnus, friendo. <gasps> Get back here with that. I need that thing! Come back! Almighty Magnus, I have for you this offering! <laughs> no! <laughs> Bunch of noobs! They go in the same way? They're working together. This is just how we do it in Boomtown. Which one took the amulet? The thief is mine. You take the one with the fishing pole. Got it. Know what the best time of year is to visit Boomtown? Let me guess. Fall. No. Boom. Ah! <laughs> oh. Later, Dingus. 
only one way out of a pit. Axel! Jesse, there you are. So I totally cornered that fisher dude and they were all scared and stuff. And... Where is the amulet? Stop right there! How about no? <laughs> Ah, these bricks will take forever to punch through. Luckily, I think I found us a punch-free entrance. Sorry guys, but I've been trying to find Magnus for way too long for you to stop me now. Ooh, bad. Jesse, go! <laughs> way too close. You know what you remind me of? This song I had stuck in my head once. I just couldn't get it to go away. Gah! Oh, man. <sighs> okay, little amulet. Show me the way. Of course, not sure what I'll do when I get there, but that's future Nor's problem. I bet. <laughs> Arr! <sighs> Give it back! This is more important than you know. Uh-oh. Not again. Ha! Nice! What did I tell you about teamwork? What? But I'm the one who said we should work together. Got it. I actually got it. Quick! Flush him out! Magnus is somewhere in that building above us. He's got to be close. Then quick, toss me the amulet. You're surrounded by griefers and they're going to tear you apart. Well, Jesse, we need to move now. Just don't lose it. Hey, don't worry about me. I got this. You just keep them distracted. At the top! Yeah! That's where I saw it! I love a good table turning. Excellent! Oh no you don't! Get back here! Well, hello, opportunity. Jesse, you made it. You don't need to sound so surprised. Do you have the amulet? Of course. Me and the pig, we totally rocked it. Well, I'm glad everyone's safe. Good boy, Reuben. Magnus, here we come. Huh, maybe it's, I don't know, locked or something. That's a thing people do to important doors, right? Fine. Knocking worked. For once. So it seems. Let's get in there. Right behind you. You 
you are completely surrounded by hundreds of hidden death traps. One step closer, and kaboom! It's Magnus! We totally got caught by Magnus! Uh, oh. I think we're gonna die now. Did you really think you could sneak up on me? Ha! You're two of the worst griefers I've ever met. And a pig? Really? Hardly stealthy. <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, oink, oink, oink to you, pork chop! We're here to ask for your help. Uh-huh, uh-huh, sure. So you're not a couple of griefers here to catch me unawares. Because, <laughs> let me tell you. I mean, that guy? He's got grief for written all over him. Man, you don't know how much that means to me. Yeah, well, that's because he's your biggest fan. Look at him. I mean, not like biggest fan. Right? So tell me something, not griefers. How'd you find me? You working with someone? Or maybe you bribed another griefer? <laughs> For two noobs, I'm impressed you found me. Gabriel sent us on this mission. Gabriel? <laughs> You're seriously telling me you're buddy-buddy with Gabriel? You know how often people try to tell me that one. This is all sounding pretty weird, dudes. <laughs> Who are you really? Why are you here? I want answers. Now. And just give it to me straight. We're here to reassemble the Order of the Stone. You have me intrigued. Go on. There's a huge monster, eating up the entire world. And nothing can stop it. Magnus, you've got to come with us. You might be the only chance we have. Give me one reason why, for even a second, I should come with you. I am the ruler of this place. I keep the disorder! Boomtown, this place you've built up and are known for, it's about to get destroyed. But if you come with us, we can still stop this. All this stuff you've told me, you expect me to just take your word for it? Two strangers with wild stories, and nothing to show for it. Except an amulet, that's not theirs. Magnus. Every word of what I'm saying is true. You have to believe me. Okay, okay, you sold me. I'm in. Oh, but we might have a little bit of a problem getting out of here. <laughs> huh? You're Magnus. You can just walk out of here. Hello? I don't know if you've looked around this place, but, uh, it's kind of full of griefers. But that's kind of awesome, right? <laughs> no. You've heard about the whole challenging the king for his crown thing, right? It's like their thing. So long as I'm king, I can't leave this town. I know how you feel. No, you don't. You're right, I don't. We could sneak you out. They'll spot me. Look, I'm too good, and they're too eager. It's like a vicious cycle that just keeps me here. Simply put, that's life as king of Boomtown. <laughs> Not as fun as you'd think. I mean, hey, I do get to spit on their heads occasionally, so I guess that's them. Nice. You're my hero. Just choose a new king, and then come with us. Look, I've beaten them dozens of times, and none are worthy. They'll see right through it. But you, huh, you're the newcomer with the gold amulet. By now, there'll probably be all sorts of rumors about how awesome you are. If you beat me, then I'll be able to leave. Can't believe I didn't think of it before! That sounds awesome. Let's do it. Of course, you could never actually beat me in real life. You know, I'm just saying. <laughs> uh, wait. 
real life? What? Oh, this is gonna be good. I'm actually excited about this. But we gotta make sure it looks legit. The Death Bull has never seen the carnage that we're about to create. Hey! What's the Death Bull? This is the Death Bull! Welcome, ladies and gentle creepers, to the Death Bull! In one corner, we have Magnus, your king of Boomtown! Prepared to defend his title and crown! So tiny, welcome to the Death Bull. The grief off to end all grief offs. How do you want to fix this? How are we going to fool? What's your uh, grand plan? Better lay it on me quick. Griefers aren't known for their patience. Let's just stick to eggs, okay? Nothing more deadly than that. We can throw some eggs around. I can hit you with a few and you can pretend to be knocked off. Uh Aha, I heard something about eggs. Got it. And you, what name do you go by? I'm gonna need a name. Come on, Jesse. I can help if you want. That's Jesse, AKA the Pig Master, trained by the wild pigs of the mountain, unbeaten in the hog and snout techniques. But most important, Jesse's my best friend. You're the big guy, give a big death bull welcome to the Big Master! Then let's begin! Opponents will craft their own griefing towers, which they will then use to grief each other. The only rule is... There are no rules! (laughs) No eye poking! Other than that, go crazy! Seriously. Oh, Big Master! Pick your building material, and Magnus, you... Nah, I'm good. Brought my own supply. Let the griefing begin! Wood and stone. Um, pink wool. Pink wool it is. Hmm, not bad, not bad. Guess it'll have to do. Axel, what about the whole pig master best friend thing? Yeah, thought you might bring that up. It's just that Reuben wanted to take your corner and I didn't want to crowd him or anything, so I thought I'd um watch from over here. Take your best shot! You shouldn't throw an egg. Ha! You grief with me, you grief with the best! (laughs) Those pigs must have taught you well, pig master. I have learned much on my travels and studied only from the very best and mightiest pigs. You are but a student! Prepare yourself, for I am here to give you your final lesson. Wait, wait, wait. What happened to only throw eggs? Ah. Uh, um, That was just a warning! What? A warning that you need glasses? It seems the student has become the master! And the pigs will have their day! I don't know what that means, but I love it and want to put it on a t-shirt! Jesse, 
Jesse. Jesse, you okay? Had enough yet? Alrighty. I think noob time is over. We've had some nice laughs, but now they must come to a close. And you should run home. And what part of throwing the fight was that? What say you, noob? I am king, and those who challenge me will be annihilated. Jesse, I think he just lost it. Magnus, craft a cannon! Yeah, finish it with a cannon! If it's a cannon you want, it's a cannon you'll get! Yep, he's completely lost it. Dude's going for the kill. Jesse, you'd better craft the, I don't know, greatest thing of your life. Like right now. Wait, there's still some material in the chest. That's it, Jesse, go! Hey, Axel, check it out! Ha! That should hold him! Yeah, it's, yeah, um, yeah, it might do, but Jesse, look! Whoa! Supposed to throw the fight. <laughs> oh. Jesse, look out! against the king of the griefers and you pick oh ha that's hilarious and thematically appropriate with your training by barnyard animal <laughs> Got you an arrow for your bow. I think it's enchanted or something. A bow? In a cannon fight. Axel, there are all sorts of cliched lines about this. Yeah, but the TNT. Inside the cannon. TNT plus arrow. Oh, yeah. Time to see how well you fly, pig. Ruben! Boom! I got you, I got you. Man, you smell delicious right now. Hey, Magnus! Yeah, short stuff. Flying pig jokes are totally played out. <laughs> oh, crap! Sometimes, I don't know, gives a speech. Pontificates. Orates. Say something. Hello, Boomtown. How are we all doing, huh? Hey, that's awesome. That's awesome. I'm so proud to be standing in front of all of you today. Welp, you guys ready then? Oh, yeah! This'll be a way easier target than Magnus! Wait, what's going on? Oh, well, that's not good. Holy crap! Is that your wither storm? How are we? 
with the defenses, huh? <laughs> yeah. Whoa! Who goes there? Oh, Jesse? Is that you? Lucas, did you build all this? Well, yeah. I, I figured I would try and fortify the place, you know? Nice! I'm so glad you're back. And we brought Magnus! Fantastic! Quick, come on! You guys are never gonna believe who showed up while you were gone. Gabriel! Hello, everyone. It is good to see you. He showed up not too long before you guys. Magnus, my old you friend. You always were a tough cookie to keep down. <laughs> it's good to see you. It's good to see you, too. Yo, meathead. Oh, and it's especially good to see you, Jesse. I fear that you might be the last face I ever saw. Getting here was hard. It's such a relief to see you. I'm glad you're okay. If you hadn't pulled me out of the Witherstorm's clutches, well, let's just not think about that. I came here to the temple, hoping against hope to find other survivors. It makes me glad that, even in these terrible times, this temple can stand as a stronghold, a symbol. Wow. Did Petra get away too? Did you see? All oh, that creature left in its wake was bedrock. All those people. Your friend Petra. No one could get away. We are alive. There's still hope. Come along. Everyone else is still inside. Wow! Been a while since I've been here. Whoa. What is she doing here? Oh, this isn't going to go well. Right. Um, I forgot to mention, Olivia went on a little expedition of her own while you were gone. And this Olivia person came back with her? Did you know about this? Did Eligard put you up to this? You think you know a guy, and then, bam. Everyone just coming and going around here. Olivia's a friend of mine. I didn't know that she was going off to recruit Eligard. Magnus, you gotta believe me. Well, I certainly don't have anything to say to her. Jesse, Jesse, look, I found Eligard. Just hang on a sec, okay? I'll go figure out what's going on. Good, you do that. Easy now, Olivia. Let's try and play it cool, hmm? So, who are you now? And why did you bring him with you? We're reuniting the Order of the Stone. It was kind of crazy, actually. I went to Redstonia, and there were all these incredible engineers and inventors. It was a little intimidating, actually. But Eligard's made me her protege. Well, assistant for now. I mean, after what happened. I know, I'm sorry. So sorry. So now you're Eligard's, what, assistant? Protege? Well, I tried to get into Eligard's private chambers to talk to her, and long story short, 
It didn't go very well. She might have, well, embarrassed herself. A tiny bit. Yeah. But after I pled my case, she agreed to take me on as her assistant and come back to help. Not bad, right? Oh, hooray! It's Ellie. And here I was just starting to enjoy myself. Hello, Magnus. Your voice is exactly as pleasant as I remember. Which is to say, not at all. Oh, my feelings. Is that the same wit you're going to use to save the world? Why? You're here to tell me how to do it better? Oh, I would never dream of doing that. Unlike you, I actually do things instead of just talking about them. Hey, that's Eligard you're talking to. Show her some respect. Wow, you finally found yourself a live one. Hey! Your little devotees are usually a little more on the bookish side. Leave her out of this, Magnus. This is between the two of us. Oh, I started ignoring her ages ago. Would you all cut it out? Holy crap, you're all acting like crazy people. Uh, people, can we please focus on the bigger picture? We have a very hungry Witherstorm in the process of turning the whole world into its dinner. Yeah, I'll admit, that thing looked real nasty. And I've seen some nasty stuff in my time. Too much for you, was it? Your usual brutish approach didn't cut it? Hey, you weren't there, all right? You didn't see how this thing just tore everything up. You've never seen anything like it. This arguing isn't helping anything. If we want to stop that thing, we're going to need some serious firepower. Jesse speaks the truth. We must find a way to defeat that monstrosity. I don't know if you've looked around yet, but this place isn't nearly the stronghold it used to be. Most of our supplies are gone. It would take a mountain of TNT to kill that thing. I hate to say it, but you have a point. This is amazing. I know. Are they getting along? Can we start crafting some then? I don't think we got that kind of time. But even if we had all the TNT for miles around, I don't know if it would be enough. If only Soren were here, he might have something we could use. Oh, Ellie, not this again. Wait, Magnus. She may have a point. Soren did have certain objects, inventions. You know I hate when you brag about you and Soren's little brainy club. I'm not bragging. I think I've got a legitimate idea here. There's something stronger than TNT? Soren had a kind of super TNT. Stronger and more explosive than anything else in the world. The Formida Bomb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard all about the F-Bomb before. F-Bomb? Yeah. Soren claimed that dropping the F-Bomb could destroy anything. But I've never it's seen it before. real. I swear. Uh-huh. Do you know where it is? Can we get some? Well, there's a little problem there. We don't know where Soren is. But you found Magnus and Eligard. Do you know where he is? Our map could locate him, unless he's in the nether, or the end. But it's worth a shot. He wasn't on the map. How are you holding up, Lucas? I'm alright. This has all been pretty intense. I feel like if I think too much about what's been going on, well, I'll just think I'm completely nuts. Well, thank you so much for all the help. I know we haven't always gotten along the best in the past, but you've been so great. Wow. That means a lot, Jesse. Thank you. Hey, Gabriel. Well, go on, Jesse. Show them what you can do. How are you doing? I'm hanging out with Magnus. I'm doing awesome. Glad to hear it, buddy. Hey, Olivia. You okay? I'm alright. I can't shake the feeling that I embarrassed myself back in Redstonia, in front of Eligard. I think she kind of judges me a little bit. 
it'll be okay. I hope you're right. Hello, Eligard. You said you know how to activate the map? I'm very curious to see it. I've never actually seen it work before. Hey, Magnus. Hey, Small Fry. No shame in admitting you can't turn that thing on. It's very, very sophisticated. I'm going, I'm going. I know what I'm doing. Your light, my light. That's new. There he is. Soren had his fortress deep inside the mountains. After the order broke up, that's where he went to keep doing his experiments. Look, he invited me there a couple times, but it always seemed a little weird, right? It always seemed a little weird. Glad we can agree on that at any rate. I mean, I never actually went there with him. That's probably the only time you made the right call. So he'll help us, right? Whoa. It didn't do that before. Are you sure it's working? Blue. Blue! That's Ivor! Ivor is going to Soren's. We need to move! It's not too far. We could probably make it on foot. Perfect. We can wait till tomorrow morning and travel with a full day's sunlight. Uh, and risk that thing catching up with us? I think I've had enough wither storm for one day. Ah, uh, thank you very much. Right, because getting caught out there in the dark is so much better. Trust me, if you had seen this thing, you wouldn't want to stick around. Trust me. If you had a brain, you'd want to minimize our chance of being caught out in the dark with all the monsters. Eligard's got a point. Of course you think that. Yeah, I don't want the Witherstorm catching up with us. We should go, now. Jesse here's talking a lot of sense. Let's just go with that plan. You're just saying that because it's your plan, but... Fine. Okay, everyone, let's get moving. Jesse, right? Oh, hello. We haven't had the chance to acquaint ourselves properly. According to Gabriel, you saved him from this wither storm. Sounds like you're a pretty impressive individual. Picks fights with lots of monsters? Always defending the weak and defenseless? I'm just doing my best to keep everyone safe. I can always appreciate humility. I like you. In any case, I sort of wish that you had taken my side earlier, but water under the bridge and all that. A slight tangent, what's the uh, deal with your friend Olivia? I appreciate her enthusiasm, but she can be a little much sometimes. She's always very eager to jump in and help, which is sweet, of course, though sometimes I wish she would think a bit more before jumping in. Especially when she keeps getting in over her head. I don't know if you caught this, but she's like your biggest fan. You probably just make her nervous. That's an excellent point. Hadn't thought about that. Seems like you respect her a lot. Why didn't you listen to her plan to come and recruit me? Not to make it awkward or anything. Or to demand, why didn't you want to recruit me? <laughs> just curiosity. I figured that we needed firepower, and no one knows destruction better than Magnus. The man does know how to blow things up with reckless abandon, that's for sure. I'll do my best to not let it hurt my feelings. <laughs> joke. That was a joke. Yep, exactly what 
I worried about, and exactly why we should have waited till morning. At least the wither storm isn't tearing us apart right now, all right? Well, we can hash that out later, because we've got some monsters to fight here, people. Daytime. How far is Orin? It can't be much further. Not much farther. We can make it. isn't it? <coughs> yeah, and I'm really not feeling those columns. Ah, oh, come on! It's fine! Look! and thought I would come down to help. <laughs> Endermen. There's so many. I didn't think they ever came in groups that big. Thanks for coming back, Lucas. I mean that. away. That's it! I'm going! See? I'm walking away too now! Super TNT! Here I come! It's hard to pick glass half full when they keep kicking the glass over. And I thought they were doing so well. Yeah, I wouldn't go that far. Bickering is kind of their deal. But hopefully they'll work things out and... Get on with the important stuff. What are we gonna do now? Where should we go? Let's figure it out.
Gabriel isn't looking so good. Hey, Gabriel. Hello, Jesse. You okay? Dream come true for Lucas. Look at him. He's loving it. Soren the Warrior. Magnus the Rogue. Eligard the Engineer. Gabriel the Warrior. Jesse, isn't this incredible? I can't believe we're actually here. Hmm. I'm glad he came along. Even if it did take a bit of persuading. They made a statue of me. I wouldn't choose that pose. I'd look like this. A big cool place like this? Underground? Weird. Looks like Olivia's working out more plans, as usual. Hey, Jesse? Yeah? It's Gabriel. He... I don't know, he doesn't seem right. I tried asking, but maybe he'll talk to you? This super TNT thing feels like such a long shot. Well, we're trusting Eligard on this one, so maybe our chances are better, right? Gabriel, are you okay? I know it's not the best time, and I, I don't want to worry you, but there's something I like to discuss with you in private, Jesse. But let's split up. Whoa. I'm aware that letting them head off alone is risky, but I need to talk to you about a private matter. It's not the easiest thing to bring up. I don't want to worry the others. Hey, whatever it is, I trust you. You can tell me. Thank you for being so understanding. I'm so glad to see my old friends together again. I don't want to ruin it with this. What? You may have succeeded in getting me away from the Witherstorm, but... I fear it was already too late. I noticed it not long after you saved me. Holy crap! What are we doing down here? We need to get you help. Tragically, I'm not sure there's anything that can help with this, Jesse. Tell me. Do you know what Wither is? The Wither? Of course, we've been- No, just Wither. Or Wither Sickness, to be more descriptive. It is something I've contracted before in my travels, but it always wears off. It seems that Ivor's monster exudes a wither sickness that is decidedly more fatal. Well, we're going to go back and tell the others. We can get help! No, Jesse. You can't tell anyone about this. <gasps> 
Creeper, look out! Take my hand. I'll pull you up. My strength is compromised. I couldn't maintain my hold. I'm so sorry. Jesse, are you all right? Are you hurt? Jesse! Hey, you're the one that's sick. Take care of yourself first. I'll be okay. Time to be a hero again. Stay safe. I'll find a way down to you. Something useful in here. He has to. Why would he have so many books? Was he just collecting them? He can't have read all of these. Hey, show yourself. Who's there? <gasps> you. Trying to interfere with my plans again, I see. Your tenacity is commendable, yet misguided. You found your way in here? So now you may find it back out again. Immediately. I found the rest of the Order. What good will that do? I'm here with the Order to find Soren Super TNT. We are going to take down your Witherstorm. The Order? <laughs> Believe me, that plan will blow up in their faces in more ways than one. They cannot help you. But me? I choose not to. Out of my way. Move! Wait, but I... Stop right there, Ivor! Gabriel! You're alive! Against all your best efforts, Ivor! Look at what you've done. I never dreamt that even you could be this twisted! Save your posturing, Gabriel. We both know your words have always been hollow. Just like the Order. You're not going anywhere, Ivor. At least not in one piece. The threats pass harmlessly through me, but this sword will pass through you! I'm not letting him go either. I'm the only one who can stop the Wither Storm! Not you, not the Order! Don't make yourselves the villains in my story. You come. Ah! This could have all been avoided. If you want to stop me, you'll have to catch me first. 
Look out! He's using a potion of swiftness! We mustn't let him escape! <laughs> I'm like the wind! Wait, Jesse, you could have just let me go. <laughs> now you see me. Now you. <laughs> it's one of his invisibility potions. He could be anywhere. Invisible or not, he isn't going to get by me. <laughs> Please, I just stand down. One's on you, you puffed up fool! There's no time for this. Jesse! Gabriel! Even more of you? Will this parade of useless babblers never cease? What's going on? We found Ivor. We stopped him. Mm. Balls. You have stopped nothing. A query. Have you ever seen the effects of a splash potion of slowness? What? Magnus and Eligard may think they can stop me. That they can destroy the Wither Storm? But they are mistaken. And it will cost them their lives. Next time on Minecraft Story Mode. In pursuit of answers, all our heroes found in Sauron's armory was deceit and treachery. Locked in a dark chamber deep in Sauron's mountain, as the Order of the Stone rides off towards near certain doom, our heroes must ask themselves, would they find a way out of this dark tomb? Is there any way to cure Gabriel's wither sickness? Would they find a way to defeat the wither storm? Or will they remain trapped as it continues its ravenous rampage across the entire world? Only time will tell.